Hi there, I'm Ulf at Hoverick. Uh, today we're going to have a little bit of a different topic because uh, apparently there's a kind of a discussion about whether Lars Ulrich has his drums altered in some way on their live at the Download Festival official video. Yeah, so I just stumbled upon this article in Metal Addicts and uh, I saw some discussions, uh, threads on Facebook about whatever Lars Ulrich's drums on the official video from them playing the song one on the download festival, uh, if the drums there are altered in any way or corrected. This is the article, Metallica appears to have corrected Lars Ulrich's drumming in official audio of their performance at the download festival. People are calling the performance completely fake and there are many fans defending Lars Ulrich saying that there was just some issues with audio that they tried to correct that. But I wanted to have some actual proof and uh, scientific evidence of what's really going on here. So I recorded the audio from their official video and also the audio from fan uh, filmed video from, from the festival and I put them side by side and compare them. Uh, what I did just listen, listening through the songs, I uh, pan one to the left and one to the right, listen in headphones. That way I could easily hear when stuff is differing. I, I obviously recorded this audio just for scientific purposes, so please don't report me for piracy. I will delete those files after I'm done with this video, so don't worry about that. Uh, some people said that there were differences in, uh, in tempo and stuff, but there is not, I promise you. To me, everything sounded fine in the beginning. The, the only thing I reacted to is that the front of house engineer at the festival seemed to have some issues. The drums wasn't on in the beginning where they're supposed to have sound. So I think that's maybe what's throwing people off in the first place. Here we have the audio from the official video. And uh, from the fan video. Clearly something weird is going on here with the with the mixing. Um, it's the same at the beginning of the song. Um, the first guitar that starts playing. At first it's really loud and then it goes down and now it comes back up. So in the official it's So yeah, just some mixing issues. Um, actually, as I said, I listened through the whole song, uh, stacked them on each other, and uh, to me it felt like everything aligned up. Um, you can listen to them here. I can show you. I'll pan the official to the left and the family video to the right. So basically there's no, no big issues, uh, nothing is corrected. Uh, you can tell that there is sample replacement on the drums on the official video. The kick drum is much more even in volume. Uh, on the live version you can hear that depending on how hard he hits the kick drum, it differs in volume and intensity. Uh, other than that everything sounds fine, but later in the song is where we start to find some issues. So it's this part. That sounds really good. So is it actually that good? The real performance? What do you think? Let's see. You could argue that there's something wrong with the microphones, but if you zoom in here, you can clearly see 
that the hits are not at the same time. There is stuff moved around here. So yeah, this part is obviously fixed. The next place I noticed clearly was uh, over here. In the audio from the official video, you can clearly hear the, the kick drum pattern playing the same thing over and over again. And in the fan video. One explanation for this could also be that it doesn't hit the kick drum as hard. So it's just uh, the sample replacement that makes it sound more even. But there are actually some of those uh, double kick drums that doesn't line up that's on one version and not the other version. So you can listen to that too. Yeah, so here you can hear on the fan video, you hear two of those And in the official video. It's single kicks. Yeah, so the fans who defend Lush Illusion says that nothing is done with it just for the, the sound. Uh, I hate to make you disappointed. There are some editing done here. Uh, and to the haters of Lush Ulrich, uh, to be honest, I like throwing shit at Lush Ulrich as much as anyone else. But I mean, come on. It's, a, it's an official video. This stuff has been done forever. Uh, I actually think that polishing up uh, recordings for official live stuff is okay because when you are there at the show you get the full live experience which is something totally completely different than hearing just a recorded version so just to not throw you off and to give give to get kind of get you a little bit closer to the actual feeling of what it was like there um, I think this stuff is okay I mean but I'd love to hear what you think about this. Is it okay to do this kind of cheating, um, faking stuff for live videos? Or is it completely off the charts, not allowed? What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to have some discussions. Um, and hope you like this video. Subscribe, comment, like it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers.